Welcome. Welcome to Bay Focus. Thank you for tuning in this week. It is a busy, busy time of the year. October into November, December, as you know, is such a push for all kinds of activities and, and the holidays approaching. But this is also an incredible time of year where churches and ministries really try to get the word out and the gospel out too and, and really minister into the community, get out. And we have a couple ministries on today that are doing just that uh, here in the Tampa Bay area, uh, both actually in the, in the uh, Clearwater Seminole area, Pinellas County. In just a moment, we're going to introduce you, if you don't know what Judgment House is, we're going to talk about that as it is a Halloween time of year outreach. And then also a great women's conference coming up uh, as well, we're going to tell you about called Freedom from Forgiveness. And that's, a, that's an interesting concept that we need to talk about. But we're going to start today with Judgment House, and we have three gentlemen with us to talk to you about this. That uh, we Every year, we try to when, when they're doing this, we try to get, help you get the word out. And we have the host church pastor that's doing this. It's Calvary Church, which is known in the Clearwater area, that has three campuses, three locations, and the Seminole campus pastor is with us. Tom Hudgens, thank you so much for coming with us. And he's also the founder of uh, Judgment House. So That's we're glad right, to have Darlene. you today. Thank you. Thank and you. Just so great to have you each. We've done we've been having you on the show for many, many years mm -hmm. talking about this because this has been a, a great ministry. You brought along with you Chris Yates, mm -hmm. who's a participant as well in Judgment House. And I might add this is kind of a neat reunion show because Chris is a former staff member right. of CTN TV twenty two. Uh, and since we're in our fortieth anniversary year, we like to bring up those kind of those kind of things. It goes way back with us years ago. Great to have you, Chris. And Thank then you. Steve Perot, a current staff member who does a variety of things here at CTN, just a real important person to us here. I also been involved with Judgment House and gonna tell us his story. Uh, thanks, Steve, for coming out all the Thank way you. from you know another location know, in the right? building. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. This is distance. <laughs> Sorry, we can't sit too serious for too long. But Pastor Tom, I want you to give us the, the history a little bit of, of Judgment House and yeah. how you started this. Well, I was a student pastor for 21 years, mm -hmm. and in those early days of serving as a student pastor, I was always looking for something at Halloween to uh, make a difference in the community. Uh, our kids were popular, but they were popular in the wrong way. Uh, mm -hmm. They were... Um, you know, doing the Halloween thing, and the police knew them very well. Uh, they were, you know, blowing up mailboxes with them 80s and oh, throwing wow. eggs off of interstates. And I said, whoa, 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 we can't do this. We can't do this. Uh, we've got to do something positive. Well, it's really interesting. I, I met with them, and I just said, hey, what could we do at Halloween to really make a difference, a positive difference? And they wanted to do a haunted house. And I said, no, we're not going to do a haunted house. It's just not what we're going to do. And we got to thinking about that. Wait a minute, why couldn't we use that concept? And, uh, and change the message. So uh, that's how it all started, 1983. And you, and here in the Clearwater area, you've been doing this um, since- uh, 1994. 94, and that started out with Calvary Church, of course is a historic church here in the uh, Tampa Bay area, that's right. known for many years as Calvary Baptist Church. So they, they were the heart of downtown in those years. That's correct. And this is where you did this. But you take, to, to give us just the, the um, first of all, the, you're doing this at the Seminole campus this year. Tell us the location, times, and date. Okay, we're doing it actually November 1, 2, and 3, the day after Halloween actually. Yeah. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we'll be doing it there at the Seminole campus of Calvary, and it's uh, located at 6155 113th Street in Seminole. So we would invite anyone to come yes. and bring someone who may be lost that could come and possibly go through and hear this gospel presentation. Okay, and, I, and just a minute, we're going to talk to uh, the other two uh, gentlemen here too because they've been cast members. But I, I, I want you to, to tell our viewers, you're at, what you, you do a different script yes. every year. What You actually have a, a message and then you, you do some really important ministry too. Tell, well, Judgment that? House is an eight-scene walk-through drama presentation about people's choices. And so what you're going to see is little vignettes. You'll have a tour guide that leads people through a series of rooms that ultimately reveals a story about some kind of a tragic ending. And when that tragic ending happened, it happens to be uh, dealing with school bullying this year. So it's a powerful script. But we do have all kinds of different scripts that we provide uh, for churches to participate in. But uh, this particular one is about school bullying. And then when you come to the very end of the presentation, the gospel message is presented again. I mean, they've already heard and seen the gospel message, but we give people an opportunity to respond to that 
Mm-hmm. And then we, those that respond, we get a chance to pray with them, talk to them, and encourage them to get plugged into a local Bible-believing church. Yeah, so that, that, that's a really important part is, is the follow-up, the ministry that Absolutely. happens. This is not just a, you know, just some people might see this as a, oh, well, this would be cool, fun, you know, a Halloween experience. You know, we'll get, maybe get a little scared. This is serious. And they, they really get serious pretty quick. Yes, they do. When they go through it and they see how intense it is. And I'm going to transition to Chris for that yeah. because... You not only tell us what you've done with it, but you have a story to tell your own son. Well, I do. Well, part of the thing is as you go through the different scenes, we kind of set up the story. And you're following four characters, basically. Uh, in my scene, I was in hell. I was in the <laughs> hell scene. In fact, Steve and I were both Satans last year. Uh, but the nice thing is, is that you, you practice all week. And so it was the Thursday before, and we do a, a full tech rehearsal. Everybody's, you get a chance to see it because you don't get a chance to see the other scenes. You're in yours. Well, this time we got to go through, and at the very end, um, they actually uh, lay out the, the gospel. And then my son, who was nine, and he was in the first scene, he's actually an actor, uh, got, he raised his hand and, and accepted Christ. Wow. wow. That night. And so. You don't yeah. even think of that. The ones that are participating, even. It suddenly hits them, wow, I really need to, to do this and be involved. I love that. What a moment. Yeah. You're, you're there and your own son. Yep. Uh, I, I love that. Okay, Steve, because you guys have shared this bond of both being Satan, we, right. we have to talk to you. <laughs> you know, it, it's funny because when Tom called me for that scene, he's, he, his yeah. first thing was, how is your marriage? <laughs> he was. Yeah, and are yeah. you prayed yeah. up? Yeah. Because that's the spiritual Seriously. warfare that Seriously. you're going to mm-hmm. battle during that. Mm-hmm. But uh, one of the stories I have is uh, my wife and I had a ministry outside of the church. And uh, this was a story. This is a scene in it. Well, no, this is what happened with the scene right. through, through, so through Judgment House. Sure and uh, there was a uh, one of the kids that we had uh, was debating whether to go into uh, the military. And we suggested he did. Now, last year's scene was about the military. Every one of oh, these okay. Judgment House so is relevant to whatever time mm-hmm. of the year it is. And I'm saying that to say this the mother called me one night and said, Why did you tell my son? to join the military. Now he's doing great, he's flying uh, drones that are size of pro- private planes. And she was very upset at my wife and I. And she shows up at that judgment house mm. last year. And that judgment house, you've got people, you've got war scenes going on. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness, what's this lady going to think? And uh, I, I tracked her down. And that's when I ended up in the scene, the, the uh, yes. after the hell scene in that room and I saw what was going on. But the relevancy of her going through that and me getting to meet her and tell her, you know, if your son was to be killed in war, he knows Jesus Christ through mm, his Lord right. and Savior. And then I went on and introduced her to you. Mm. And I'm thinking, my goodness, not only did Judgment House have the scene of what we see now, but it was reaching beyond that with, right. with her. And I thought, it's just powerful. It's powerful how it's put together. The story that's, that's involved in it, the, the, uh, the uh, opportunity of salvation, right. it's just incredibly put together. And as yeah. I was telling Tom at the beginning, it's not for Christians. It's for Christians to bring non-Christians mm-hmm. to. Mm-hmm. That's what it's for. That's right. mm-hmm. And it's it's as powerful now as I'm sure it was in 1983 and it will be in 2075, whatever. Mm-hmm. That's the power of the judge. That's the power of the gospel. Right. That's it. Yeah. Well, and, and so I, I understand what you're saying. Now you were, t- you were telling how the impact of somebody you knew had this. Mm-hmm. You had talked to me one time, which I just thought was uh, incredible. You stopped by my office one day and you talked to me about how you this approach of Satan is different. It's not it's not like they have him, you know, with horns and and everything. Satan appears as an angel of light amongst the crowd. Yeah. yeah. Tell that how, how that shook up some young people. Oh, there was there was uh, Tom had us. It was a great concept. He got, had us go walk with the uh, the 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 people as they went around, holding doors open for him. I mean, that's yeah. that's what Satan does. I mean, he yeah, doesn't yeah, come as a yeah. scary pitchfork devil he comes as the angel of light and I went what a concept so we were walking around I was walking around there was these uh, like seven kids and they were making fun of all the the scenes of the war and I'm thinking man that's just kind of disrespectful I know they're kids and everything but just making fun of the death of you know people Mm -hmm. dying in war they don't know and I'm thinking they have no idea that I'm playing Satan in you know what we're about to go into so I'm even I'm holding the door open them open for them in the hell (laughs) you know I'm opening the door so Tom would have a stick as we walk. We would stand next to the people that was going through, and as the scene played out in the hell scene, all of a sudden they would say, "Where is our master? Where is?" And then we would bellow out, "You fools!" And all yeah. of a sudden they would be, "What? He's 
he, and then I would walk into hell and we would go on. Well, at the very end, those seven kids were there and we had a chain separating us from the crowd. And I went up and I said, and what will you, where will you end up? And I found out that those seven kids gave their life to Christ that night through the next scene. Wow. And I'm thinking, wow. you know, it, you think it's scary. You better believe hell is scary. Yeah. There's an option and mm -hmm. we're all going to die. We're all appointed to mm -hmm. die. And it's heaven or hell. Yeah. So I don't care how that message gets out, how that gospel gets out. It's getting out. Yeah. It's getting out. Yeah, and I just thought what was so powerful, Pastor Tom, I'm going to come back to you, so powerful is that is how subtle the devil is. And you brought that out, that he's, he moves amongst every daily life, and you have to be able to recognize it and what he does and what he brings to people. And the, I, I have two questions for you, if you do them fairly quickly. Yeah. These are, these are intentional script things that you're doing. You're trying to get a message out to. And then, and then also answer... You said that these scripts are available to other churches, too. Yes, that is right. Uh, Judgment House, it, it, when we started this in 1983, we had no idea that it would be as successful as it was. In 1988, we formed a nonprofit corporation called New Creation Evangelism, mm -hmm. doing business as Judgment House. So you can go to a Judgment House website, and you can get information about how your church could present this, because we have churches all over the country, and even internationally. We have churches in uh, Brazil, yeah. we have them in El Salvador, we have them in, we did it in Ukraine, we did it in Thailand, wow. it's just amazing. And you so, make the, the tools available that's for That's correct. We and make so them each up. script is, you're, you're trying to get a specific message out, different title, different things. Th that's correct, There's a, th there, you can pick from diff 15 different scripts. Last year was the military script. Yeah. This year is school bullying. You know, we've have car wrecks. It's called revenge, by the way. That is correct. Yeah. It's called yeah. revenge, and uh, it's a, it's a, it's something that is very pertinent to what is happening right now. So in you our take schools. on various issues, societal yes. issues, culture. Yes. What's going on in the world today? Yes. And you and you create a script that shows the decisions that people are going to have to make between heaven and hell in in today's world. Okay. Wow, that's powerful, and it's different. That one of the reasons I bring you on is it is different than if your just church is going to do a haunted house. Mm -hmm. This is such an intentional. I use that word. I know that's overused these days, but you are there's such a targeted, intentional mm -hmm. approach you're taking to this, along with the follow up, along with the ministry at the end. All right, to close out, tell our viewers once again dates, times, okay. location. Is this ticketed? Do they need tickets? Well. You can call, make reservations. We certainly recommend that so that you don't have to wait to get in. But it's November 1, 2, and 3. That's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, can, you can call this phone number, 727-608-6350. Or you can go to the website, thejudgmenthouse.com, mm -hmm. and make your reservations. And it's going to be an free, amazing free admission. Well, actually, it's a $5 donation oh, at the door. Oh, it is. Okay. $5 okay. Dollar donation at the door. But That's a pretty good deal. It's a good deal. Mm -hmm. But uh, nobody would be, will be yeah. withheld from going through they're welcome to come we want them to come and I would just recommend again that it's not just Christian entertainment but it is an evangelistic outreach mm -hmm. so please bring a lost friend with you yeah and and you had uh, just a tremendous year last year yes, we doing did. this too and and uh, I, I gotta just do one quick thing I want to give you an opportunity just to promote Calvary Church Seminole tell the service times Yes, we're so excited yeah. to be, be the campus pastor uh, with Calvary Church, and we're located again down in Seminole, 6155 113th, and we meet on Sunday mornings at 930 and 11 o'clock, and we would invite anybody to come yeah. and join us. It's Great been amazing how the growth of that church, of that campus. Mm -hmm. You're just a few years old, That's right? correct, two years the, old. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been incredible to watch. Okay, thank you all so much for sharing your stories, coming on, and, and you're going to take a look right now, too, at a, a clip of some video of Judgment House. We'll be right back with more of Bayfold. Focus. Judgment House is coming to your area. Don't miss your chance to experience Judgment House this year. Over 5 million people have experienced this walkthrough drama about the truth of people's choices and their consequences. Reservations are recommended, but walk ins are welcome. Judgment House is not recommended for children under 10. Judgment House, tour your final destination. Hello, 
my name is Darlene Greenlee, and I want to invite you to join us each week on Bay Focus. We are going to highlight local ministries, community organizations, events, concerts. Reporter Brooke Rathmel goes behind the scenes to get the interviews you want to see. I hope you will join me each week on Bay Focus. Well, I hope you can get out and support Judgment House this year, but we also want to change directions now a little bit and tell you about a women's conference coming up. I just love the title. It just jumps out at me. Freedom from Forgiveness being held at Bayside Church in Safety Harbor coming up again a busy November and we have with us today to talk to talk to us about this event we have Pastor Stephanie Armstrong uh, who is representing Bayside Church and works with young adult ministry there and we have Tina Levine who is one of the speakers you're both speakers uh, Tina's been on Bay Focus before she gets around all kinds <laughs> of they, she's in demand I'm telling you she goes and speaks and has such a tremendous message and story, personal story. So you're going to be involved in this as well. Thank you for coming back on the Thank show. You. Thank you both for coming. Thank you for having us. And I'm going to start with you, Pastor Stephanie. Um, uh, you uh, are representing the church today. So tell us a little bit about why you're doing this conference, the specific dates, times, address. Yes. <clears throat> so the conference is going to be November 2nd. Mm -hmm. um, as he said, it's called Freedom from Forgiveness. Yeah. And it is at our church at Bayside Church. Um, we're located at 3380 State Road 580. Mm -hmm. It's right in Safety Harbor, just right before yeah. the Oldsmar Bridge. Yeah. Um, but we have a really powerful women's ministry mm -hmm. at our church. And the women really have a desire to see other women become more like Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so when Tina approached us about the opportunity to have this conference, mm -hmm. um, we jumped right on it. We want yeah. the ladies to come out, um, to hear about the power of forgiveness, and just to experience the fellowship together. We're really excited to host. Yeah, and, and what, are, what were the time? The time it's on yeah, it's again? 9 to noon. Okay, 9 to noon. On so. November <clears throat> 2nd. Okay, so that's actually a good time because they're not taking their entire day you know and but they can have that half day and it's a lot of ground you can cover in that amount of time but you have multiple ladies involved uh, you want to tell us who they are yes this is so a we're, quiz. Really, we're really excited <laughs> so tina and i are both keynote speakers uh -huh. um, and we've invited a couple other ladies along just to come and share a little bit about their mm -hmm. experience from having freedom from forgiveness. Mm -hmm. uh, my friend Erica Dahlquist will be there and she's sharing about expressive art yeah. therapy and I know Tina's invited a friend of hers as well. Yeah, Linda Walker mm -hmm. and she actually has two uh, sober living homes in Tampa where she actually yeah. goes to the prisons and jails and picks up women that are drug addicted and they live with her in these two houses. Yeah, yeah, and you have one other person and, and she's praise worship. and worship katie yeah yes. katie bab, uh -huh. bab okay she's and she's singer. she's coming up so you'll have praise and worship too yes. to lead you into the presence of the lord tina i want to tell our viewers a little bit too um you're you're a motivational speaker you go speak all kinds of places you know i have to always throw this in also a comedian you know i love it because if you have if you book tina she's going to weave some humor yes. into her speaking um but you go speak at and ministries you're also in demand because of your um your uh, expertise in, in dealing with people that have walked through difficult things in life, abuse, um, substance issues, all kinds of things that you can you can deal with, uh, teen issues, and um, and all, all kinds of things that you that you speak to. Um, so you you have this perspective. So was it your your um, the, the, this idea this term? And I believe it is because I believe we kind of touched on it the last time I had you here. Tell us what, what freedom from forgiveness means. What is that? Well, actually, my I think it was my third book is yeah. entitled yeah. Let Your Forgiveness Become Your Freedom, and yeah. nobody buys it. <laughs> and I thought, why is no one buying this book? You know, yeah. freedom is about joy and hope and peace. Don't we all want those gifts? And what I was finding was a lot of women struggle with forgiving themselves. And, and, and they don't have to be necessarily from an a, you know, abusive background or addictions or anything like that. It's just they struggle with forgiving themselves, you know. Maybe they're yeah. beating themselves up. They're not the perfect mother or the perfect wife or, you know. And, and so that's kind of, I, I am all about teaching women to have grace 
for themselves and to forgive themselves first and foremost and forgive others. And then sometimes we have to forgive God. Maybe that we're That's angry a really, about really big so, thing, a circumstance. That you hold things. Yes. Yeah, I know. And 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 I'm not I'm not cutting you off, but um, there was a question that I that I wanted to ask you that I that I thought was was really good. You had a, you had your um, your own journey of healing, and and what did that look like for you? You had to walk through it yourself. Did you have to walk through this and do how many steps on that? Absolutely. My first book, Let Your um, Lessons Become Your blessings were that took me 14 years to write and I didn't want to write it until I had forgiven my rapist my abusers I was yeah. in domestic violence relationships I until I forgave myself as well and so when I produced that book it comes from a place of healing forgiveness and having hope and that's what my whole, you know, I'm Tina Talks Truth and the truth is there's hope and that's what my message is all it's always about hope yeah, yeah. Okay, now, um, Pastor Stephanie, on, on your side of this, what uh, when you're at this conference, what are you going to be, uh, what's your input into this, this, this subject? What are you going to be sharing? So I'll be sharing a little bit about my personal story as well. I um, had a really struggled past with unforgiveness. My fiancé was killed in a car accident. Wow. Um, was caused by drinking and driving. He and his cousin were in a vehicle together and his cousin was the driver that night. And so I really struggled with, you know, forgiving him, but as Tina mentioned earlier, also forgiving God, yeah. you know, for allowing this to happen. Our baby was just a year old at the time and I just really felt forsaken. And then I had to go through a period where I had to forgive myself for the way that I dealt with that loss. Um, a lot of addiction and hurt and pain. And so I want to share with the ladies just the freedom that mm -hmm. I experienced in that process and that it is a process. You know, we hear freedom from forgiveness and it doesn't happen overnight. Yeah. Um, it doesn't always happen when we accept Jesus as our personal savior, yeah. but it's a process. Some, some things that we still have to deal with today. And so I'm excited to share with the ladies that message of hope. Yeah. and the hope that Jesus Christ which brings. your process was to get yes. there mm -hmm. which all right let me throw this this is the the you know the question that you have to get in this kind of subject area okay you know I can you know, I'm gonna forgive you but I'll never forget mm. you know how well, do you how do you do the forgiveness with uh, you know are, are you required to forget to forgive absolutely we're we're told to toss it out to the ocean to the deepest parts yeah. of the ocean and, it, it, you know, and, and Jesus has forgiven us. God has forgiven us from, what, the east to the west. I mean, mm -hmm. so for him to forgive us, we have to forgive other people. And numerous biblical scripture says that, yeah. that I have forgiven you, and, you know, you need to forgive your debtors and your, you know, those that have actually accused you or your enemies and pray yeah, for and, them. and the forget side of things let me let me say this i i remember um because it, it's, it's it is hard it is hard to to like that no longer remember the the infraction you know know what, what the hurt point was but when you truly forgive and i experienced this this goes way back to college years way way back to college years but i had a best friend and i remember we had a serious falling out serious falling out that lasted quite a while um, but to this day, then we went through a period of forgiveness of, of time where we, we laid it aside and it was gone, um, and we that you know, it was over. I literally, literally cannot even remember, and and it was not long after that it the, the memory of of the issue went away. It literally that memory is not even there. I don't even mm. know what the fight was about. So I'm throwing it out there that you know you're not going to forget your history. You're not going to forget when there's been abuse. You're not going to you know forget on that kind of it. But it can be diminished. That memory isn't constantly surfacing. Once you've gone through two forgiveness, and you've done that, it just it gets further into the mm -hmm. recesses of your of your mind. That's the only way I can say is that the Holy Spirit helps us even with forgetting the the yes. details, taking it taking it away. That's that's the point that I think in any kind of conference like this you would have to discuss. That people have to come to understanding that you can forgive, and then that memory will be 
you know, slowly pushed, mm -hmm. pushed away as well. Have you found that to be true? Yes. Tr actually, yeah. true healing to me is to be able to share, like, testimonies yeah. like we have. Yeah. And it doesn't hurt right. anymore. That's, the, that's yeah. true healing. That's true yeah. forgiveness. And that's the gifts yeah. that God gives us is okay. that we can share that with other women. Okay. And then in the last few minutes we have here, um, uh, will there be, is it all one session with different speakers? So you're all together in the room. You're not doing breaking out into separate rooms no. and everything. So you're all in there together. Yes. So it's a great opportunity to, to get to meet people and Absolutely. interact our, and fellowship. Our women's ministry will have a powerful presence there. So yeah. there will be an opportunity for you to actually meet the ladies, to yeah. engage with them. Yeah. Um, again, it's our passion to see right. more women become more like Jesus. That's what we're about. Any chance there will be coffee there? Absolutely. <laughs> coffee and water. Going. Yes. I could yeah. Going. And yeah. actually, we, we wanted to share as well that uh, the women, you know, this is a free conference. And oh, that's good. Yeah, very yeah, important. This yeah. is just something that the free. Lord's put on my heart to do these women's conferences yeah. and uh, for it to be free. And our passion is really to bring women, you know, non-believers as well as the church ladies mm -hmm. and to have a mentorship. But their ticket in is actually one non-perishable item. Oh, that's, that's good, it. yes. And it's going to be donated to the Maddie Williams uh, Families Yes, Center. it's okay. a Maddie Williams <laughs> Neighborhood Family Center okay. in Neighborhood Safety Families. Harbor. And that, so we'll, oh, wow, I love that. Yeah. Yes. I absolutely love that. All right, we're going to end on that note. Thank you both so much Thank for you. coming on. This sounds like a fabulous conference and so, so needed. Always great to have you back, Tina. And nice Thank to meet you. you and share your ministry with our viewers as well. Yeah. Here's more information on the Freedom from Forgiveness, if I could say that correctly, conference coming up. My name's Charlie. Have you ever tried to watch your favorite CTN show? Only to find out you already missed it. Aww. Well, I've got good news for you. Hooray! You can catch all your favorite shows on YouTube. And just by a few clicks. So, what are you waiting for? Go to YouTube CTN Online. Hey, when do I get my snack? That's more like it. Well, I hope you'll get involved and go to, to the couple of the events we gave you today, the Freedom from Forgiveness, Women's Conference coming up in Safety Harbor at Bayside Church, and then also Calvary Church-sponsored Seminole, Judgment House, Bring the Unsaved to both of these events. Uh, this is an opportunity to win people to Christ. Thank you for tuning in this week on Bay Focus. Keep me posted on events in the area, and we will see you next week. May God richly bless you.